Hey, I'm going to give you a real quick tour of my new 2015 Ranger. It's a Z520. Usually I get a 21, but based on the schedule and the tournaments I have this year, um, I decided to go with a little bit smaller boat. Um, 250 Pro XS, that's the motor I've been using for, this is the fourth year now, and um, haven't had too many issues with it, so I keep on using it. 10 foot blades ever since they came out, that's what I use. A little bit new, or one of the new features on it is watch when these go up. It actually has a buffer where they slow down right at the end and don't slap shut. Super, super, super quiet. But the 10 foot blades are a must. If you're going to get power poles, get the biggest ones. It seems like you're always in eight and a half feet of water when you put them down. So back of the range here, you know, I got the, the plug for the power cord real easy to access from outside the boat. This is pretty cool. This is a this is the plug for the boat underneath. So right now it's closed. If you accidentally leave it open, all you got to do is flip that switch instead of going swimming. Pretty cool. Um, I always get the remote oil fill so it's easy to access. And there's the oil tank. Jump box. I've only had to use it I think twice in 12 years. Um, Vic Vadalero used to install these in my boat and his boat. Um, before Ranger started doing it, now they do it. So if my cranking battery should die, which it rarely does, I can jump start off of my trolling motor batteries. I'm using AGMs, top of the line, you know, just to make sure that, uh, you know, my batteries never run down. These come right from Ranger. They're great. This is the third year I've used them. Now this is the fourth year that I'll be using them, and I haven't ever had a battery die. I used to use Sears diehards for the last. I don't know, probably seven or eight years in a row. Uh, those are a little cheaper, and, they, and these ones work great. So, four bank charger. Uh, there's my push pole, hooked up with the guys at Rod Glove this year. And these are just for rod straps, but I bolted them down to the back deck, and it keeps that power or that push pole real snug right there, real nice, out of the way. Live well. Ranger live wells. Um, got the oxygenator down there. And then over there, there's a light. And then there's my pumps and everything like that. Um, Ranger does this plexiglass thing, which I personally like. Um, just so there's no mix up with the co angler. You know, you can't have both of them open at the same time. And that's where our fish go. So, pretty cool. That box right there. Uh, Usually leave it open. Right now I got rain gear, I think, and um, just a bunch of rod gloves. And uh, I'm telling you what, I love these things. And uh, I'm going to be putting them on all my rods. Right now I've got 25, 28 rods in there. And um, when you put the rod gloves on, you can stick like five or six of them in a hole. It's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. So... I'll give you the rest of the boat, front deck, and the console in part two.